Hello guys, this is Mike from programming.org. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go a little bit out of order just because I got a video request from Shura to do a video on structs. And what that is in C++ is it's very similar to a class. Um, as you know, C++ is known as C with classes. And C wasn't really object oriented, but they did have these things called structs. And it's pretty close to object oriented. Uh, we can create data structures, and that's what struct is short for. And I'll show you how to do that. And if you're wondering why do we still use structs instead of classes, well, that is up to you. If it was me, I would. I think it would be easier to use a class. But one main difference is classes. The data fields by default are private, where in structs they're public. So let's create the syntax of a simple struct. So the keyword is struct right there. And then we need to give it a name of this type of struct. So I'm just going to say school. And we're going to open up some curly brackets. And I want to give it two types in here and we will give it a string and we'll say school name semicolon and then we can also give it an int uh, year that it opened up I'm don't have internet access right now so my examples aren't going to be accurate except for the school name because I don't have access to what year they were made but if I wanted to declare a type of school object what I would do is you would declare the type right here of the struct school and then we would say uh, let's say VCU and I want to declare Harvard okay so these are two types right here and we can use this name right here to access a school name in a year so what we're going to do down here in main if we wanted to is we can see out well let's let's uh, assign them first so let's say VCU dot school name equals and remember it's a string so put it in double quotes and we're just going to say VCU and we can also say VCU dot year equals I'm just gonna guess 1900 and now I can say Harvard dot school name equals and double quotation marks will say Harvard and I know that that's a very old school so I'm gonna take a guess at 1700 I know that's not accurate these or Harvard dot year equals say 1700 okay so now what we can do if we wanted to print one of these out this is how we would do it. We would say C out less than less than and we would pretty much just type this in if we wanted harvard.school name or if we wanted the harvard.year that's how we would print it out. So let's do that. I'll say vcu.school name and I'll just print that out. So it works so you know if I printed out the other ones they would work too so I don't have to run through them all. But let's say that we wanted to add a constructor to this struct this is how we would do that so the way we do that is we're gonna say school and we're gonna open up some uh, parentheses and let's say the first one we'll say string um, and let's say that this is a constant because we don't want the school name to change so we'll just say const string name and then we can say int uh, first year alright and now after that we're going to do a colon and we are going to set name equal to school name and so the way we do that is we're going to take the school name down here and we're going to write school name and in parentheses we're going to pass it name and then separate that by a comma and we can say year and we will assign that to first year first year and we can end that with 
empty brackets. All right, I think that looks good. And now what we can do is when we declare a school down here, we can say school VCU. And when we declare it, we can set it up initially so we don't have to assign school name and year on separate lines. We can just pass in VCU and we can pass it the year 1900. And same with Harvard School. The object named is Harvard. We'll pass it that string, Harvard. And we will give it our guesstimation of 1700. All right, that's a, probably way off. But now we don't have to write all of those setting up every single field. So now we can do, we still need to specify what um, what data field we want to print out. So if I wanted to say vcu.school name, we will get this string right here. So let's run that, and I did. And just to be safe, let's do another one. Say Harvard dot year. We'll run that. And we got 1700. So that is the basic structure of a struct. Um, it can get a little bit more complicated because of uh, inheritance and um, if we wanted to declare these as private. Uh, there, there's a few more things we could do with it, but this is basically the introduction to what a struct is, and it's very similar to creating a class. Um, I think, in my opinion, I would like to create a class because I come from learning Java first, but if you came from learning C first, maybe struct is what you like using. It's all preference. So there you go. Just remember that uh, by default, all of these fields right here, such as the string school name and the int year, is public, where in a class they would be private. So that is how you set it up. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped uh, you understand structs a little bit. And please subscribe below, and I will continue to make more C++ tutorials. Thank you guys.